Taicho Brahi by Sean Gibb and Pratik Rao. Hope you enjoy. In the picture to the left, this is what Taicho Brahi looks like. Early life. Taicho was a Danish nobleman and astronomer. He was born in Denmark on December 14, 1546. He spent most of his life in Denmark. He was abducted by his uncle and raised in his castle in Tostrup, Scania. Education. Tycho's career consisted of being a philosopher and astronomer. He attended the universities of Copenhagen and Leipzig and then traveled through the German region to further study at the universities of Wittenberg, Rostock, and Basel. To the left-hand side of the screen, you can see many of the symbols or badges of the colleges. Career. Tycho's career consisted of being a philosopher, astronomer, chemist, and nobleman. He began his studies first in Latin, law, and philosophy, but was so struck by a partial eclipse that he decided to study astronomy. He is most famous for his astronomy career and has made many important contributions, such as designing and building instruments. He also calibrated many of his inventions. Theories and Inventions Tycho helped overturn a belief that the universe revolved around the Earth in favor of a heliocentric model of the universe, with the sun at the center. With his new instruments, one of which is the sextant, Tycho was able to accurately measure the positions and motions of stars, planets, and comets. Important Family and Friends Jorgen Tygesen Brahe, Tycho's uncle, was a wealthy but childless member of the Danish nobility. He is important because he kidnapped and raised Tycho for most of his life. Mandarup Parsberg is Tycho's third cousin. Parsberg and Brahe had a quarrel during a wedding and duel to settle the argument. During this duel in the dark, Parsberg cut off the bridge of Brahe's nose. Later Life Brahe had contracted a bladder or kidney ailment after attending a banquet. He died 11 days later on October 24th, 1601, at age 54. However, investigations in the 1990s revealed that Brahe might have actually died from mercury poisoning. Fun facts. His nose was not real. It was cut off in a duel with his third cousin, and he received a prosthetic nose made of silver or gold. He owned 1% of Denmark's economy. His body is currently entombed in the Church of Our Lady in front of Tin in Old Town Square near the Prague Astronomical Clock. Thank you for watching.